Put it out! Out!
Come on. Come on. Off we go now. Easy. What's a little girl doing in a clay pit? Oh, Mistios. Hi, Mistios. I'm just preparing something for my friends. I've been here all day, but I still need more clay. I need enough for all of them. What you're doing for your friends is very nice. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Really? You think so? I was thinking of getting them some other things, though. You're a generous friend. What do you want to give them? I want to give them some nice jewelry. <laughs> you mean jewelry? That's what I said! You don't look like you can afford any. Honestly. I know. That's why I was going to get some shiny stones in the abandoned mines. And a few pearls from the lagoon. But I've been stuck here all day with the clay. And the abandoned mines are kinda scary. Do you think you could help me get some gifts for my friends? It'd make them happy and that'd make me happy. I'll make some gooey for you too, for helping me. Gladly, young lady. I'll see to it you get the best pearls and shiny stones. And I wouldn't mind some gooey myself. Yay! Thank you. You're really nice for a big, scary-looking person. Okay, that's all I need to know. I'll see you later. I should be done here soon. Meet me at the cliff overlooking the lagoon, okay? I'll introduce you to my friends. Thanks, Mithios. Time for a ride. That's the lagoon with the pearls. Come on, come on. Come on. This is the lagoon the little girl mentioned. That's enough pearls. Mines. That's where the shiny stones are. Off we go now.
Let's go. The abandoned mines with the shiny stones. Got the pearls and the shiny stones. I should return to the little girl. The little girl and her friends. She got here sooner than I thought she would. Mistyos! You made it just in time! My friends have finally arrived! I... don't see anyone else here but us. <laughs> what? Silly Mistyos. Can't you see them? They're right over there. 
The one on the left is Theo, and the one on the right is Erla. They look friendly, but I don't think they really count as your friends. What do you mean? They're my friends. I made them. I know you made them, but that the... Mother told me to make friends, Mistyos, and I did. This isn't the way to make friends. Tell your mother that... I can't! She's dead, Mistyos. Mother is dead. She joined the pirates. Told me she'll bring back so much drachmi. We could swim in it. But, but, but one day she came back, Mistyos. Her favorite white robe was all red. And she told me to take care of myself and make more friends. But I've never had any friends. I didn't know what she meant. So I thought really, really hard and made my friends out of clay. Did I make a mistake? Mother won't be upset at me, right? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. No, child, no. You did great. Your mother would be proud of you. Friends come in all shapes and sizes. I have an eagle, and he's a close friend of mine. Wow, really? That's so cool. Here you go. Your gifts for your friends as promised. Why don't you go put them on for them? I'm sure they'll like that. Thank you, Mistyos. You're the best. I'll go do that right now. <sighs> I'm sorry, child. I could not break your heart, even if it was good for you. Check in on her later.
I'll see you all at the selection ceremony, ladies. I especially hope you show up. Let me guess. He's rich. That's Etios, the scion of the most influential family in chaos. And his wife choosing ceremony is tomorrow. <sighs> we need Eros's blessings to be picked. You hope to marry into riches? No! My feelings are for Etios, not his wealth. Your eyes tell your true feelings. I... I feel like you're making fun of me. You better start praying like the rest of them. Huh. No, I have to stand out. If I do what everyone else is doing, I'll never be picked by Eros or Etios. I need to do something. Anything. Anything? Yes. Anything. <laughs> Please, his ears are stuffed full with the prattling of these women. Let me help. I'm a witch of Ekati, goddess of witchcraft and magic. I know just the thing. A love potion. I've seen stranger things work. I'll buy it from you, please. Sell it to me, and don't let the others hear you. I don't need your drachmi. I spread the word of Ekati freely, but... A love potion is tailored to the imbiber. I have to make one just for you. And once you've drained every last drop of it down your pretty throat, you will exude pure, irresistible beauty. Aetios will fall in love with you instantly. First, we'll need two things. A cask of the finest wine and some wild mushrooms. Uh, but... Where can I find that at such short notice? I'm sure the Mystios could procure these items for you. Please, Mystios. Please, you've got to help me. In the name of love and a lot of Drachmi. Well, I'll give you all I've got. If Ethios picks me, I'll be sure to give you even more. <sighs> Fine. I'll get the ingredients for your love potion. The finest wine. Isn't much to go on. How will I get it? A shipment of expensive wine was lost in a shipwreck recently. Look around the wreckage in Pirate Bay, and you'll find a cask or two. If it hasn't already been pillaged by pirates. It's beached on the west coast of the island. Where will I find wild mushrooms? No, no. A new shipment of very special mushrooms has arrived at the customs warehouse. Fetch me some of those. That's all. I'll see to the items. Excellent. Meet us at the temple on the hilltop when you're done. That's the shipwreck with the wine. Hope the pirates haven't gotten here yet. That must be the shipwreck she was talking about. What are you? 
are you doing there? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to kill you! This is all the wine left. The looter stripped the shipwreck clean. Someone wants you dead! That's the warehouse. The wild mushrooms will be in there somewhere. Better get looking for those mushrooms. I know, that's why I'm bringing it up. But if uh, I don't know, has been planned for these mushrooms at this game. What does a pirate need with mushrooms? I guess they can be made. Wine and wild mushrooms. That's all of it. I should go to the girl and the witch at the temple. Ugh! <sighs> 
Here's everything you asked for. <gasps> Thank you, Miss Theos. Now I just need a more personal artifact. The last ingredient. I've come this far. I'll see it through. What else do you need, witch? No, no. What I need, the girl can provide. I'll give you whatever you need to be with Etios. We'll just need a little snip of your beautiful locks. Your part in this is done, Mistios. Come to the selection ceremony at Aetios' house to witness the fruits of your labor. It's the one overlooking the sea. You've got to come! Once Etios picks me, I'll make sure to pay you your due. I hope he has deep pockets. His love didn't come cheap. Come. There's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios. Sorry, my love. Give me a moment. Some peasants need my attention. You said a little bit of her hair. Explain this. <laughs> Explain? It's clear, beautiful, gullible, idiot girl falls prey to her competition. She set me up! Etios picked her instead! <laughs> He didn't even take a second look at me. What happened to the potion? Why, she drank it. And look, it worked wonderfully. <laughs> she added the lock of my hair to the potion and then made me drink it. I didn't feel anything strange at the time, but when I did, all my hair, it just began to fall off. What trickery is this? You used her hair in a spell? A spell? Are you idiots? If only something so convenient existed. It's simple alchemy. With a little knowledge of poisonous local flora, anything is possible. And wild mushrooms are known to cause violent reactions. But honestly, I've never seen anyone go bald. Just a horrible rush at best. This went better than I expected. <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Aetios can be no one's but mine. I'm the one who truly loves him. I grew up with him. I've always been the one looking out for him. You think I'd let some starry-eyed fledgling after his wealth steal the love of my life from me? Aetios doesn't know what's good for him. He's been eyeing this one for a while now. He liked the way she looked. So I changed that. <laughs> I was promised to rock me. Just give it to me. I didn't sign up for any of this drama. Technically, the girl asked you for the items, not me. She's making fools of us both! Kill her, Mistios! You're crazy. You'll pay for this. She played the game and she lost. There's nothing to pay for. You believe she's innocent in all this? She tried to get ahead with magic. So spare me the hypocrisy. 
Just leave and take your bald friend with you. Please, Miss Theos, do something. I'll cut through every last one of your guards to get to you. Guards, stop this, Miss Theos. <laughs> I've trained for this. Not so fast.
Let's hope no one notices me here. Don't push you! You are mine! Victory! You're running now! I'm sad I...
give up. Bleeding. Oh, just give up. Bleeding doesn't make you brave. Careful. High security. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there is an ostracism vote. But didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Goods from all over the Greek world. You wouldn't think the city was besieged by an army of Spartans.
got to be careful not to get spotted. Come from. Huh. Guess I better take a look. What was that noise?
Let per no. It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. The votes have been tallied. Overwhelmingly, the people have decided that Anaxagoras should be ostracized from Athens. to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We are quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates, but a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? I know the price of actions. I have to as a mercenary. That simple piece of information tells me more about you than your name ever could. Explaining oneself must be carefully done. Explaining myself would take more time than I have. Then let us focus on a single recent event. Tell me, as a mercenary, is there anything you wouldn't do? Just because I'm a mercenary doesn't mean I'll do anything. Even if the pay was more than adequate for the task? Even then. What if you were offered something you desperately needed? Something you couldn't get anywhere else? Would you move this line you made for yourself? My line has moved countless times since I was a child. But it still exists. And will likely move again if what you say is true. It may. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this? Or you, for simply sealing his fate? Fine. I'm more responsible. But I did it because I have one concern. Myself. Then I hope you also think about today. About Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates! There you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. 
I wouldn't know. That's everything Pericles wanted. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. Be watching for me. I need to be careful. Yeah. Off we go now.
Stay alert! Whoever did this may be close. What a mess. They've been torn up. You are dead, Archer! Where could they have gone? He can't hide forever! Who's whistling? Something's out there. Everything checks out, I guess. Kill the commander and bring back proof. Simple. Huh. This might interest Cleon, and it'll give him the proof he wants. Someone trying to get my attention?
better check it out. that I don't see anything. Is someone there?
What's that noise? quiet. in an open field. Their politics can't uh, save them now. We still uh, have to take the city. Noise is annoying. Check that out. What? 
Join my crew, and you'll be paid well.
Some of them. someone down.
Έλα. You've returned. Did you bring the proof I asked for? I think this might interest you. I took it from the commander after I killed him. You know what it's about? What do you mean? Your reaction betrayed you. Yes. The man mentioned in this note was on important business for Athens. Why was the messenger trying to get to Mytilene? She was to help distribute supplies to the people there. To help them against their oppressors. Who is this man to you? You look concerned. He was only an aide. It was his mission that was important. I hope this proves I can be trusted to get the job done. Proved you're competent, yes. Trusted? You did read the note. I had to make sure it was proof of what I did. It could have been anything. A good point. And because of this, I have another task for you. I need you to find my messenger, Yerimos. This was the messenger from the note. Yes, it's imperative Yerimos is freed and reaches the ship. I've read it for him. Where should I look for Yerimos? If the Spartans have him, he'll be in the old quarry. I have it on good authority they're holding all their prisoners there. Don't worry. I'll get this Yerimos of yours to the ship. We'll be watching you, Mistyos. Ah, at least give them a welcome first. Fine. Pericles welcomes you to his symposium. It's you! Phoebe! You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have! I also said stay out of trouble. Which I have! Okay, almost out of trouble. 
I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So, you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No, she asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things. Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, Alexios. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made his grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus. Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every PDs. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of Sophocles. In my line of work, it pays to know who the richest and most famous men are. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates! 
always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Parties should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your sister said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with Evripides. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That ridiculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So, we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argive than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Evripides is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when Evripides is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Save for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the Orange Ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Alexios. I wouldn't peg you as an Alexios, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? 
When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. Let's conjure the Onisos, shall we? This... this is pure swill. Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Ready for more? Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piece. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. You ready for another? Wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pidis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know, it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she would trust priests. Uh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every pedis, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every piece. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every piece and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. You can stop hiding in here. Every piece won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed <laughs> this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact, or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Her. She likes to watch. Mm. Look at you. Such authority. 
such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. You have enough servants. Get them to do it. Shame. If you change your mind, I promise to pour the oil on you and lick it off. I was just about to come find you. Clearly you were thinking the same thing I was. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> we're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to... Join us. Now it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Pietera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force, and the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Being so new to Athens and gaining access to this symposium is no small feat. Though you said there are things you wouldn't do, you gain Pericles' trust so quickly. I've made my choice. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You've been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, 
Medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men. What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Alexios can help. Everyone listens when he talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Alexios will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests.
Alexios! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to him, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members, and I believe her when she says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I'm not done with these people yet. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There's a woman on the island of Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened. Okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Alexios! <laughs> 